Okay, day 76. April 1st. I'm back to where I left off yesterday in the rain. I came from that way yesterday. I walked out a little side trail, two tenths of a mile to Humpback Rock picnic area, got picked up to the hostel. And today I'm heading north again, into the sun there, to uh, Rockfish Gap. And I'll get picked up by the hostel again, another 13 miles. But I'm slack packing, so that's gonna be good. And it was pretty cold last night and we got some snow sleet on the ground, if you can see that. Right now it's windy and kind of cold. I'm gonna to have to have my gloves on. So I hope my knee holds out and I can do the 13 miles pretty quick. I got a lunch with me, some flatbed and pepperoni, a couple candy bars. Uh, just a little view, nice cold. I started at 815. I think the rain's over with. Just got cold weather the next two days. Lows in the twenties and highs in the forties. Oh, just another rock wall. Kind of neat. Middle of the woods and all of a sudden you come across the rock wall that goes forever. along the trail too. Okay, I guess that's enough of the rock wall. It keeps on going for a ways. I have a pair of whiffs that only stuck in there and have some dinner. I see some more hikers coming in there. With a little stream here in front, it's kind of neat too. You can hear it, it's kind of loud. Sorry, go there needs to be a little bit more. Uh, WJ Mayo Home Place. You know, I was just amazed that the uh, stacked rock chimney is still there. I'm walking with John, he said it's over 150 years old. And you see the little foundation here, like a one room cabin. John, you got a trail name? Some folks call me vintage. Vintage? Vintage. I'm not old, I'm not antique, I'm just vintage. <laughs> I met him uh, coming out of Daleville, wasn't it? Just north of Daleville. Him and two other ladies was just doing some section hiking. Alrighty, we'll walk on. Well, I did have quite a bit of knee pain today. Um, just doesn't seem like my knees are recovering like they should. You know. I'm just kind of thinking about going home early and planting corn. Maybe rest them up. You know, most likely won't even come back to the trail. Give my, don't want to wear my knees out since they're not quite two years old. So, uh, I'll just make some videos when I get home of farming and stuff. So, kind of sad. I'm going to be leaving, but, uh, 
Just wanted to let everybody know. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you the date today. April 1st, April Fools. <laughs> uh, nah, I made 13 miles today. Made it back down the Rockfish Gap. Uh, walked with John a little bit. I met him a couple weeks ago. He was just doing a section hike. And he seen my YouTube video last night, knew I was in the area. Walked up five miles and walked back out with me on the trail. I'm at Stainables tonight. Uh, last night I had two guests in the same room. Tonight it looks like I'm by myself. Looks like this room holds five. I don't know if I can show you. Bunk bed over there and a single bed here. And this is where I was last night on the bottom bunk and all my junk. So it's warm and it's a pretty nice hostel. So I'm gonna slack pack tomorrow, especially since it's supposed to be so cold tomorrow, like 21 degrees tonight and maybe colder tomorrow. So I'm gonna go up to Skyline Drive somewhere. I don't, don't know how far yet, but uh, I'll be slack packing. Uh, my right knee was fine today. My left knee hurt a little bit. So I don't know if I was compensating for it yesterday and didn't really realize I was making my left leg do all the work on the ups and stuff. And So I'm hoping tomorrow it evens out and neither one of them will hurt. Uh, slack packing really helps on my knees. So I'm still on track to make it to Harper's Ferry by April 15th. And then I'm going to go home, plant corn, and I will be back maybe six weeks or so back to Ohio and then back to wherever I left off.